Good morning, folks. This is the view at sundown in my backyard looking uh, just in the western sky. That's Venus off to the right and Jupiter on the left. As I zoom in here on Venus, it's not going to be very clear. That's how YouTube goes, and I'm not using a great camera. But these two are going to get real close together the next couple of nights. Get outside and watch it if you got clear skies. Having a look at Canada this morning, that is the third avalanche in the last month and a half, and we actually had an oil spill causing a little bit of an environmental pollution in Ontario. Having a look at some news, the Israeli missile defense system is, according to them, very, very efficient. And last but not least, this should make them love us a little more. What do you think? In terms of space weather, folks, you all know that a couple of days ago we had that M, -fare, uh, M flare, excuse me, and it did put out a coronal mass ejection, and according to the forecast track, it is set to hit Earth any minute now. It might even be hitting as I'm talking to you. Just yesterday we had an M8 flare as well, and you can see this kind of, once again, was kind of a double uh, eruption and flare out of these big active regions that we've been watching for a while. Here it is on the... Uh, Stereo A, that's Earth over to the left. Just getting a kind of side view of that eruption, you can see, take a look at the corona, it really widens out right there during the eruption. Having a look on the Stereo A, zooming out a bit, Earth is still over to the left, but that gives you a pretty good view of uh, the side of the eruption. And here on the Soho, which looks from Earth, you can see that this is coming right at us. Also, their forecast track does predict it to hit Earth the next day, so that's one we have expected today and one that's coming tomorrow. In addition to that, folks, we are coming out of a coronal hole stream, but that dark coronal hole right there should be hitting us in the next couple of days. So we got a lot to keep our eye on, folks. Hope you're watching it all. That's the news. Be safe.